guys. Uh, I just wanted to check in today. I wasn't really sure if I was going to film anything. Um, I did receive an order from Hobie, but it's not something like super exciting. Um, as you can see, I am in my pajamas <laughs> today. Um, mostly I'm just being kind of lazy, and like I said, I wasn't sure I was going to film. Um, this is a couple hours after work. Yeah, I got home like two, three hours ago. <laughs> um, it's just been kind of a weird day, I guess. Like, nothing bad, nothing really happened. I just, I have been in a really weird mood all day. Just kind of feeling low. I guess that happens sometimes. Um, so yeah, here I am. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got from Hobie. Uh, like I said, it's nothing super exciting, but still, you know, yarn's always good. Plus I got a, a nice project bag and I've never really had like a super nice project bag. I have some that are, are good, but they're like small drawstring bags, so they're not fancy. I guess. I don't know. Um, let's see. I did. Um, hold on a second. I just put this up because it didn't occur to me I might actually need it tonight. Um, I had some of the Hobie Halloween sock wool and I made some socks with it. I do have a picture up on Instagram of me actually wearing them. Unfortunately, I don't have like sock blockers I can use to really show them off, but yeah, Halloween socks. I really like how these colors work up. Um, I have like a little bit of this left, maybe a little under half, and then I actually have two more skeins of it um, that I can use to make something else. I don't need that many socks, so. I was thinking maybe like a shrug or something that benefits from being stretchy, right? Because this is actually incredibly, incredibly stretchy yarn. Uh, so I will figure that out. If you have any suggestions, be sure to leave them down below. I am always happy to hear your suggestions and I apologize, I'm making some very strange faces. <laughs> I also got, I don't have the packaging, it's sitting on my bed. <laughs> um, I got uh, some crochet hooks because they were on sale and they're neon and they're beautiful. Um, so these hooks, I don't remember what brand they are, but they had them on, on Hobie.com. Uh, they come in like two different sets. This is the smaller one. Um, so it's going to be, we got a six millimeter, a five millimeter, a four, a 3.5, and a 4.5. Um, and the other one is all like cool colors, I think, and then that's gonna be your bigger range of the hooks. So there's those. I haven't tried them out yet, but they look nice. They're pretty lightweight. Uh, I think they'll work out really nicely. Um, I will be doing um, spicy cat colors, if you follow the coloring community at all, she is this amazing lady, she's so sweet, um, she's very open, inviting, very, very kind, and she's doing, uh, a buddy ween, um, buddy coloring kind of thing, and she invited anyone that she hasn't buddy colored with, or someone who hasn't buddy colored with anyone at all, to go ahead and do a buddy color with her this month, and I think that's amazing. I have never done a buddy color with anyone. Um, I mean, like, I've, you know, my sister and I, we color together, but, like, that's not really an official buddy color, you know? Um, so I went ahead and I sent her a message asking if I could do something, so we're going to do a buddy color this month, and I'm very excited for that. Um, she is also, as part of her buddy ween thing, doing, like, every week uh, of October, she's doing, like, a big group buddy color where she has a particular page she's doing. If you have that book and that page, uh, you can go ahead and join in and do that page. If you don't, just follow the prompt for that week. Um, so this week is ghosts. This video will be going out a couple weeks after I film it because I just film ahead and I'm not in a position where I feel like I can 
do multiple videos in a week just because I don't know how consistent I can be right now. So I just kind of film a couple during the week and then post them and then stuff happens and then I have a log of videos that I can use. <laughs> um, so yeah, the this is technically the first week of October. By the time this goes up, it's probably going to be like the end of October. So not really doing a great job of promoting her um, funny coloring thing, but if you're not already following her or you're watching my channel, I don't really know what's going on, right? Anyway, I think I will probably do the ghost one because it's really cute, and I think I'm going to do this adorable ghosty page from Camilla Durico's Cute and Creepy coloring book because it's a great book. It has really, really cute little monsters in it. So I will probably be doing that. Um, I've got a whip I'm working on. I was planning on doing a Lost Souls shawl. Um, I just kind of wanted to see like how much, how far you could get with one cake of the Cotton King Sultan. I've got the Sultan Shadow I was using. And then, as I was working on it, I realized that I just really, really, really don't feel like making a Lost Soul shawl right now. So I decided to make a different kind of shawl because I've already broken into the yarn and it's like this nice pretty cake and it, it just... It's hard to get that back under control, if that makes sense. So I needed to just do something with it. Um, so this is... The Classical Attitude shawl, uh, which is just like a free pattern on Hobie. This is pretty. It's really pretty. Um, I think the fade's going to be really beautiful. This is the like gray to black Sultan shadow, which is why I thought it would be really good for the Lost Soul shawl, but then I also feel like, like these cakes are made to be shawls. But my preference with like the light to dark fade like that is to do something like a triangle shawl that um, gets bigger as you go out because uh, then you've got like that beautiful light to dark and the dark is almost like a border on it. That's kind of my preference with those kinds of cakes and the Lost Souls shawl works from the bottom and goes up like that so it was going to be like light fading up into dark, and yeah, I just didn't think I was going to like the way it looked. And it's fiddly, because it's lace work. Um, you're making skulls with shells in between them, and it's really pretty, especially with a really lightweight yarn. And like, this has beautiful, beautiful stitch definition. So it's, it's really, really lovely for lace work, but... I just think I'm starting to learn that I don't really like lace work that much, so I don't know if that's something I'm going to end up doing. Also, now that I'm talking, I'm incredibly thirsty, so I apologize. You probably just heard me opening that can. Um, this is the Polar Seltzer Black Cherry. I've been drinking so much of this shit lately, it's, it's a mess, but it tastes good. It's cold, it's wet, and it's not, like, boring plain water, which I like water. I do. It just, sometimes you need something more than just plain water. Um, so on to the new Hobby Doll. So I'll start with the bag. It looks like this. There's lots and lots of pockets. Um, there's a big one here in the middle, or in the inside of the bag that has like a zipper pouch and then like three little compartments. Um, looks like that's it on the inside. Got a handle on top and then I think this is, so you can have yarn in the bag and have it shut and like pull it out, which is cool. We've got pockets on the sides, so there's spots for all your hooks there, and then like a big pocket here. 
got a big pouch here with lots of pockets. Like, there's so, so many pockets on this thing, man. Uh, let's see. This is just like a big pouch. And then another big pocket with room for crochet hooks. Like, you could have two whole sets of crochet hooks on this thing. That's pretty cool, actually. This would be great for scoring my Tunisian hooks, and then I could have like a regular set of crochet hooks. And then it also comes with... There's a strap. And then there's actually a um, bag that you could keep like notions and hooks and whatever in with like a little clip. So this thing is really, really prepared to hold everything you need for your project, which is amazing. I am so disorganized and I apologize. Like I said, I didn't think I was going to be filming and then I'm sitting here like watching YouTube videos and I'm like, yeah, I think I kind of feel like filming tonight because I just feel like talking to someone. Um, even if you guys aren't going to see this for a couple of weeks, it just sometimes feels nice to put it out there. So, here's my next thing I got. This is a unicorn yarn. It is... 75% virgin wool, 25% polyamide. It's 437 yards, 100 grams. Oh, sorry, I'm tired. Like I said, it's it's a couple hours after work at this point. Uh, so I've been up for a while. And, like, it wasn't a bad day at work, but... It can be exhausting, even if it's not a bad day. <laughs> um, so yeah, I got this beautiful gray color. I got this lovely orange. Um, I got these after bingo one day. I think it was one of the things they had on special. I don't buy anything from Hobie unless it's on sale. And they always have sales on something. So, always wait for sales. They will have them. Um, this beautiful teal color, and then it's sort of like warm reddish brown. Yeah, it kind of feels like a reddy brown. Um, so all of these together, I think they're beautiful. I had a plan for them. I don't remember what it was. <laughs> But I had something I was planning on making with these. <laughs> I need to get better about writing this stuff down. Um, I do have a notebook that is actually sitting right in front of me. You can kind of see, like, I got a bunch of stuff written in here. It's a beautiful notebook. I think I just got this from, like, Walmart or Meyer, Alba Meyer, because that's where I usually shop. It's got, like, colored uh, page ends. It's very pretty. Um, and I've been using this to kind of keep track of my crochet projects, either like writing down what I want to make or um, observations on the yarn that I was using. Like, do I like it? Do I want to use it again? Um, and just like, you know, if I come up with a random idea of something that I want to do at some point in the future that I know I'm going to forget about, because I will, I've been writing that in here. But I did not write down what I wanted to do with the unicorn yarn. So, I <laughs> guess I'll figure that out. Uh, let's see, I also got... I'm not opening this because I just don't know when I'm going to get to it, so I'm just going to put it on my shelf as is. Um, so it's the We Love Yarn, the Mega Balls, Aaron, Aaron Mega Balls, 100% acrylic yarn. It is 765 yards. So, you know, big ball of value yarn, which is always nice to have in your stash. Um, 
I got six colors of that. So I've got this kind of like pinky color. Got a pair of lilac-y ones. It's like really soft. Oh, it's gonna be hard to see. It's like a kind of a baby pink. Teal. Oh, well, that one's ripped open. My package, when I got it, had clearly been taped back up um, all along the bottom. There's tape. And then there was also a hole near the top of it. So uh, it didn't do very well in transit. And this probably got open, got cut open. Um, I'm assuming customs checked it because this comes from Norway, I want to say. Uh, and I live in the US. Um, so. Yeah, I'm assuming they just cut my package open and then taped it back together, and it says that a product of that, but there's that color. I just showed you that one. Uh, two more. Like a bright green. Blue. And that's it for those and then I got one more type of yarn in two different colors um, for those or partly I just wanted to have a nice value of yarn uh, and to kind of test them out and see um, if that's something that I feel I want to work with in the future I really haven't settled on like a value yarn I want to keep and use for you know cheaper less precious projects um, I used to use a lot of Red Heart Super Saver and I don't feel like I need to do that anymore if I don't want to. Um, it's not very pleasant to work with. And for people who want to use it or who can't afford to use anything uh, more expensive, you know, that's that's fine. That's uh, perfectly up to them. Um, I, I don't think it's a bad yarn. Um, this, this lovely cowl that I have been wearing in most of my videos lately is the Red Heart Super Saver Ombre. And... I think it's beautiful. I love it. Um, it's just not that soft. And I just don't like the way it feels like on my hands when I'm working with it. So if I can find something that is a decent price that is a little bit more pleasant to work with then I would prefer to do that. I apologize. I have a video running in the background that I keep looking at occasionally. I hope that's not bothering anyone. Um, so yeah, one more thing of yarn. There's just a bunch of stuff from Hobie that I've kind of been wanting to try for a while. So as uh, things have been going on sale, I have been um, getting it and at least like seeing what it feels and looks like. Um, Obviously, I haven't really had time to work with all of the yarns that I have bought lately. I do work full time. And I have a life, you know. So, while I have a decent amount of time to crochet, I also have other things that I need to be doing. So, you know. Um, but the last yarn that I got is the Horizon 100% Premium anti Pelling Acrylic. Which is very soft. I think this is the first anti pulling acrylic I've ever had. I need to get the, the premier one. I have a point for some of the premier anti pulling acrylics, but I just haven't gotten a hold of it yet because I need a lot. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Um, so yeah, I again, always, always uh, disorganized. I don't have colors pulled up or I can't tell you what the names are um, but this is 100% acrylic it is 601 yards I got two of each of these uh, so this is what this one looks like it's like beautiful sunset -y colors really really love this I think it's gonna make a beautiful project and I'm very curious to see how it works up 
I don't know what I'm going to make with it. Um, it'd be a really good shawl. It might be a really good cardigan if that's... It'd be like 1200 yards. I think that'd be enough for a cardigan. But yeah, I got that color. And I got this color. If you have been with me, you, you have learned by now that despite the fact that I, uh, you might be able to tell that I'm kind of like a, a goth alternative kind of person just a little bit. Um, I mean, someone at work asked me if I watched Sandman because I looked like someone who watched Sandman. <laughs> Which was great, honestly. She, like, she hoped that I wasn't offended by that and, like, no, really, really not. I think it's pretty cool that you thought that I was that kind of person, honestly. Um, yeah, I, I also like pretty pink girly things and pastel and rainbows. <laughs> I don't see any reason why you can't do both. Uh, pastel goth is probably my favorite aesthetic. Um, but yeah, you know, I got my little pink and gray like plaid robe. Pink cup. That's hard to see. That's pink with speckles. Always full of water. Lots and lots of water. Um, I like spooky. I like girly. It's whatever, right? So, yeah. I think I'm just kind of rambling now, which is probably okay. Um, I my ears have been pierced for ages, so this isn't like I just pierced my ears or something. But I did decide to put earrings again and again for the first time in years. So these are like little. Ouch! This one really hurts because it was grown over. Um, little dinosaur, dinosaur footprints. I just found a bunch of white earrings. I was going through um, yarn bags, like my project bags that I have over in the corner, um, trying to find some crochet hooks. Because I was trying to find a 3mm so I could try to size down in those socks. Because uh, I was making the smallest size and they were still too big. And so I thought maybe if I went down to a smaller hook it would fix the problem. And I could not find a 3mm hook anywhere. I couldn't find the set of hooks that I was looking for anywhere in those bags, but I did find a handful of like this pack of dinosaur earrings that I have. And there's these, there's a little stegosaurus. Um, there are some that I think were actually from a different pack that was like dragons, that are like little claws holding a, what kind of looks like a moonstone, but like it's, it's not, they're cheap earrings. It's not an actual moonstone. Um, but yeah, that's what I found. Didn't find the crochet hooks I was looking for anywhere. Uh, so I ended up buying some more crochet hooks just to get that one size. And then I finally found the hooks I was looking for. They were sitting on my desk, buried under a project. Yeah. But it doesn't hurt to have extra hooks. Especially since I am prone to losing them. <laughs> It's it's ridiculous though, cause I have like I have two sets of, two sets of Tunisian hooks. Didn't have the size I needed. I have the regular hooks that I use all the time. Didn't have the size I needed. I have some little plastic hooks that are like in this little cup right behind where this thing is. Like these super cheap boy plastic hooks. Didn't have. The size I needed in those. So that's like three different sets of crochet hooks. I couldn't find that size. It was like a, a D is what I was looking for. Didn't have them anywhere. When I did finally find the set that I was looking for, it had the hook size that I needed in it. Yeah. Anyway, I honestly should probably be getting ready to go to bed. Um, it's just been a week. We've got like this training going on. They just put in a, a track system to kind of automate 
um, part of our job. Or, well, they put it in like a month ago. And then we've all been doing computer training and they've been testing it to make sure it's working correctly and all of this stuff. And um, they just started the actual like physical training on it this week. But they did it on super short notice. Um, like we didn't find out that someone from our shift was going to be pulled off of our shift to do the training until Monday. And it was, it's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday that she is doing that training instead of, you know, doing the job she was scheduled to do all week. <laughs> so we ended up unexpectedly being short staffed. And then, yeah, there's just a bunch of that. And I don't know exactly how they're doing it, but I assume that they're going to be pulling more people to do more training like next week. Um, I know originally what they were talking about was like train one person and have them train everyone else on it. But then the problem with that is that the person that they pulled from our shift has been promoted, like was promoted before I started at this job and just has not been able to move up to her new job because she had to train people to, to cover for her. And like this month is when she's finally going to be able to transition into her new role. She can't do that and train us on how to use this track system at the same time. So I don't know what the plan is there. I guess we'll figure that out. I don't know. And then my boss was talking to me about um, just having some days where they needed to do. Uh... Sorry, um, there's stuff going on in computer system upgrades, and you know more days where we're short staffed and, and all sorts of stuff. So. Actually gonna need people to fill extra hours and I guess I'm getting overtime. <laughs> I mean I could probably say no. But A, that would be kind of rude. Because it screws every everyone else and I'm not really that person. And it would also I don't know. I I would like them to know that I am reliable and helpful and I care about the team. Um I wanna leave an impression here. <laughs> And I could also use the money because I'm planning on getting my own apartment, like I've said multiple times. And just having more money to help me with the move. I just dropped my pen, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, that would be really, really helpful. Especially since I keep buying yarn. <laughs> uh. I'm getting really rambly here. I think it's just because I'm tired. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, so I guess I will probably let you guys go. Thank you for listening to me talk for like 30 minutes about a little bit of yarn and I'm pretty much just myself. <laughs> It's nice, even if there's no one listening right now, or just like one person who is already a friend of mine. Sometimes it's just nice to live here. You know, it's just nice to talk. Um, maybe someone will be listening. And if you are, then that's great. And I hope that you got something out of this. Anyway, I'll let you guys go. Thank you for coming. Thank you for admiring yarn with me. Let me know if you have any ideas for any of the yarn that I showed you. Um, for anything I can do with the rest of the sock wool. I have, let's see, I can kind of guess how much I have left. Um, so I'd say like, maybe a little under half of this one. And it's 459 yards total. So I have 900 plus, so about 1100 yards. 
of that. It's a thinkering weight, so it's not going to go like super far. Um, and then I have four of these that <laughs> I don't remember what I was planning on doing with. So if you have any ideas, you know, that'd be cool. Um, with the Mega Ball, I do have a plan for that. Um, Mary Maxim had a sale on a bunch of their patterns. It was like 99 cents a pattern or something. It was a really good deal. And I got a plaid blanket. I want to say plaid. I want to say argyle, but I'm pretty sure it was plaid. <laughs> Not the same thing. Um, I got a pattern for a plaid blanket. So I think what I'm going to do is use like all of the pinky colors. And then maybe like the lighter blue or the, the teal color as like the, the contrasty stripe. And then the green one. I don't think you can see them. I have two um, kind of Halloween colored yarns that I got from one of their acrylic mystery bags. There was like a, a purple variegated one and then an orange. And they're, they're clearly the same yarn. They're just one's purple, one's orange. And I thought um, I could use something to go with those and make like a nice Halloween project. Uh, so I'm probably going to use the, that bright green for that. I don't know what I'm going to turn it into. I think like a witchy cape would be cool, but I also I already have a lot of Halloween projects planned and it's already, what, today is October 5th. It says the 6th, 6th but that's just because it's after midnight now. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't think I'm going to get that done before Halloween just because I have a lot that I'm trying to do already. <sighs> and time is not my friend, but it's on my list. I'll figure something out. I mean, you can be spooky all year long. That's fine. I don't see a problem with that. Um, so yeah, I've, I've said I was going to let you go like five times now, and I haven't done that yet, so... I'm gonna go ahead and do that and get back to working on my shawl because I would like to get that done so I can move on to other things. I don't like having a bunch of whips because I don't know which one I want to work on. <laughs> Alright, have a good night, day, morning, whatever it is for all of you guys. Um, thank you for being here, thank you for watching, thank you for putting up with my rambly ass. <laughs> I love you guys. Don't forget how important you are to me, to, to the universe. There are people that care about you. Always. I love you guys. Bye.